when someone tells you that something can't be done, you analyze that and you think about, well, really, uh, who's telling me this? And they may be an expert, but one of the things you learn as part of the critical thinking in, in higher education is to think for yourself and analyze what you're being told. In uh, 1999, I returned to university to a Master of Science degree at Royal Roads University in Victoria. And towards the end of the program, I was still looking for a thesis topic. And I came across some information on the internet about uh, doing this, operating diesel engines on, on vegetable oil. One of the benefits is in uh, not only sustainability and that this is a renewable fuel, but also that it reduces uh, diesel emissions significantly. So this is something that I wanted to study and, and research. And so we're looking at all aspects of production, use, uh, energy balance, how carbon neutral the fuel is and the emissions and the power and, and all these uh, fuel economy and so on and so forth. So I'm looking at all those things, but I'm also looking at all the sustainability aspects of, of the various fuels. In, this, in major cities around the world, a lot of used cooking oil is simply dumped down the drains uh, because, the, well, to avoid the, the cost of having it uh, taken away. These oils become greases and fats when they turn cold in the, in the drains and then they plug the drains and it's a huge cost for the cities to keep them cleaned out of the drains. So they're looking at four ways to eliminate that problem. The idea then is if we can take a waste product and turn it into a renewable resource that reduces air pollution at the same time, then this is a nice alternative uh, use for, the, for turning a waste into a resource. Our early systems really only worked well in warm weather and uh, we had to accomplish that a little piece of the puzzle and then we went from there to make them work in cold weather. It was more challenging, but you get there a piece at a time. So you want to reduce viscosity. You want to make it a, a less viscous fluid, something that's thin. We can simply use the waste engine heat. Once again, we've got another waste that we're turning into a resource. Engines produce a lot of waste heat. And so we can capture that and use it along with electrical heating to reduce the viscosity, make the vegetable oil thin like diesel fuel. What we've done is added our heated fuel filter, which has its own Nice little uh, toque, we call it a filter toque because we're Canadian and uh, keeps things nice and warm under there. Capture, captures the engine coolant circulating through here. That's nice and hot, warms up the vegetable oil and then it flows, the vegetable oil flows from there, comes from the tank through the filter and then flows from there through this veg therm we call this. This is a 12 volt electric heater and that gets very hot and in this short distance there are ribs inside of this heater and that gets the vegetable oil really nice and hot and that's the last stage of heating before the vegetable oil goes through the injection pump once again just like the diesel fuel did and on into the engine. We have customers for example in northern Alberta, we have customers running all winter in the minus 30s. Um, we've done large trucks, we've done buses, uh, tractors, generators and all sorts of, uh, of newer engines as well as older engines. Thank <laughs> you.